What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes and Timber the Alpha Commandos. And so here we have Alpha Commando Snake Eyes and Timber posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through their accessories really fast. Starting with Snake Eyes, he does come with an array of weapons. For starters, he does come with a handgun, which looks really nice, as well as a suppressor, which fits at the tip of the handgun, and those both store in his holster. He does come with a submachine gun, which looks really nice. It does have a removable magazine. He comes with a larger machine gun, which looks really nice, also has a removable magazine he comes with his trusty Uzi which looks really nice fits in either of his hands and then he does come with a hunter's knife timber also does come with two different head sculpts we do get a relaxed head for timber and then timber also comes with a growling or barking head which looks really nice other than that snake eyes and timber don't really come with anything else so with that out of the way guys let's actually take a look at snake eyes and timber and so here we have a closer look at Timber and Hasbro has just done a very, very good job with Timber. This is one figure I've been wanting to come with Snake Eyes ever since the line started and I'm really glad that they were able to give us a Timber action figure. Now, unlike past G.I. Joe series where Timber was an accessory that was pretty much static, maybe down the line he got movable legs but that was about it. This is a full-fledged figure and he is a decent sized wolf. I really do like that. He's pretty big and I absolutely love the sculpt work on Timber here. Now looking at the head sculpt on Timber they did a really good job capturing the look of a wolf and you can see he does have some scarring right here on his left eye which I think that's really cool. And then he also does come with this barking and growling head which again looks very nice, very menacing. This is probably going to be the head I have him displayed with. Moving that off to the side, the coloration on Timber is perfect for a gray wolf, which he is supposed to be. You can see he does have the lighter tufts of fur right here underneath his chin. Some browns and whites blending into some grays and dark grays. It looks very gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And just how thick his neck is really does make him look like a ferocious wolf. And that's really cool. You can see some of the brown and tan bits of his fur right here on his shoulders. Going down to the gray where we do have the white bits of his fur down at his paws. Which they did paint his nails as well as his pad. So that's really nice. Really nice attention to detail here. Again, the sculpt work throughout Timber is very nice. The grays work, the tans work, the browns work. Everything on this figure works perfectly. I just kind of wish that his hind legs got a little bit of shading because it does look a little bit jarring seeing as how they did have some transition into the white. And then there's nothing else right here on this leg. You can see this kind of transitions a little bit better because the white does seem to stop before the gray. But yeah, that's something to note. His tail is puffy as it should be because that's how wolf's tails look. But overall, this wolf looks fantastic. They really, really knocked it out of the park with Timber here. And I am very happy. We finally have a Timber to go with Snake Eyes. The two need to go together all the time. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move Timber aside and have a look at the Alpha Commando Snake Eyes. And so here we have the Alpha Commando Snake Eyes, and I have to say, not my personal favorite look for Snake Eyes, I'm more of a fan of the Ninja Snake Eyes, but the Alpha Commando here looks very nice. Now this is very reminiscent of the original look of Snake Eyes. Originally Snake Eyes wasn't a ninja, he was a commando, and they did a very good job here, although the original Snake Eyes figure was basically just... A G.I. Joe figure painted black to save on money and to sell an extra figure. Really glad that they were able to encapsulate Snake Eyes here and they did a very good job. You can see he has the goggles going all the way around. The strap is nicely done and there is a little clip back there. Then we do have his mouth guard right there which also looks very nice. They did a very good job here as well as having some air holes right there. Very nice modernization of the classic look for snake eyes and like I said some people prefer the ninja commando some people prefer the alpha commando me I like the ninja commando but that's not saying that this is a bad figure 
having a look at the rest of his outfit, there's really a lot going on, but at the same time, you really can't see it because it's all just cast in black. For starters, he does have his uh, harness right here, which looks very nice. You can see it does have pouches right here on the sides, as well as some strapping. We have a grenade here with the G.I. Joe emblem. That looks really cool. I kind of wish that he had something over here. Again, you can see how his web gear does go all the way around his body, and it does have some clips and more detail right here. We even get a pouch right here on his side, and that looks very nice. Very good detail here. Now, I do believe that this Snake Eyes reuses most of the Beachhead's body. I don't know. I don't have Beachhead to compare him with, but I do believe looking at photos and p other people's reviews that this is mostly the beachhead body because we do have the lines here on the arms going to the hands which look very nice very good details here you can see he has the line suit right here and then we do have some padding right here probably for when he's in prone position and using a rifle that does look good we have some more pouches right here in the front and he is wearing some body armor right here. So he does look nice and it does look like the vintage Snake Eyes figure. So you can see he does have two holsters on his legs. We do have a scabbard here for his knife which is very nicely detailed. I do like the rivets on it as well as the straps going around. Then we do have another holster for his handgun and his suppressor which is a reuse from the original Snake Eyes figure. It's just in a different paint scheme where the original one had some shine to it. This one is just matte and it looks very good. Detailed work on the pants looking very clean. You can see he even has some pouches underneath these scabbards and holsters. Going around we have more pockets on the back of his pants. Snake Eyes here is looking very clean, especially here on his knee pads. Because, you know, being an Alpha Commando, you got to be ready for everything. Any and everything, I should say. We have some shin pads right there, which have some really nice scratches and dings in them. So, very good work there. And then we do have his Commando boots, which unfortunately don't have any detailing on the soles. But, it still looks very nice. I do like the way Snake Eyes came out. So... With that out of the way guys, let's actually get Snake Eyes and Timber compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Snake Eyes posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Snake Eyes and Timber posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Snake Eyes and Timber posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. Here we have Alpha Commando Snake Eyes posed next to the Snake Eyes Origin Snake Eyes and the Ninja Commando Snake Eyes. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at their articulation. Now we'll have a look at Snake Eyes articulation first because he is something we've seen before. He does have a hinge in the neck which does let him look up. He can look down to about right there. And uh, on that ball joint, we get some very little head tilt as well as swivel at the neck. Then we do have another ball joint here at the neck which does let him look up a little bit further. He can look down much better with that ball joint. And then we do have some head tilt which that works really good. We do have butterfly joints in his shoulders. Now on mine, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's some discoloration here. It was actually glued by mistake, so I had to free that up and there is some discoloration. But the butterfly joint works now. When I got it out, that butterfly joint would not move. So be aware that you might have to loosen that joint up. But butterfly joints work fine. Going out to the side, no problem. Does a full 360 bicep swivel. We have double bend here at the elbow, going to about right there. On his left hand, we do have an up and down hinge. Right hand, we have an in and out hinge, and then both of them do rotate. Now, because of his web gear right here, you really can't use the ab crunch here on Snake Eyes all too well, but he does have an ab crunch. You can see it is moving, but you don't get much play out of it, which is unfortunate. If they had made this out of a thinner material, you would probably get better articulation. But he does have waist swivel, which does work fine, as well as a ball joint here at the waist, going forward and back, no problem. Although, once again, it is a little bit hindered by his web gear. We do have drop-down hinges at the hips, which do go down and provide that much movement, which is pretty good. Going back, really nice. Out to the side, hindered a little bit by all his gear, but 
yeah, if you move his gear around, he does get some really good range there, as you can see. Really like that. Thigh swivel up high, really nicely hidden with the straps right there. We get a double bend here at the knee. Works no problem. Swivel at the boot. Then we do have a hinge in the ankle, really tight detents there so we get that hinge and then somewhat going forward because it does boot butt up against the shin pad so snake eyes here has some pretty good articulation and most of it works for what you need it so having a look at timber's articulation very articulated for a wolf figure let's actually pop off his head just so you can see what's going on here uh, we do have a double ball joint here in his head so you can see there's a ball joint going into the neck and then a ball joint going into the head. So he gets some really good range there. It does rotate, does pivot to the side, up and down. Really good range of movement there. I want to say he has a hinge here in the neck and you can see it does hinge up really nicely. It does hinge down. It might be a ball joint on a track because I can pivot it slightly, but I want to say it's just a swivel. Uh, yeah, it might just be a swivel at the neck, but you can see he does get some really good range going down and up. We do have ball joints connecting his shoulders, so those do pivot out to about right there. Move forward, move in and out, and they do go up to about right there. Going back to about right there. No, nothing right here, but we do have a swivel at what would be his elbow. We do have a hinge in his elbow. Then we do have a hinge right here in his ankle, which does go forward and back as you need it to. We do have a hinge right here at his paw, which that also goes forward and back, as well as forward facing pin for rocker ankle. We get a really nice ball joint here at his uh, midsection. As you can see, it moves around really nicely, going down and it does go up. Mine is just a little bit stiff, but it does go up goes down side to side as well as rotates a little bit then on his hips we do have another ball joint so that does swivel slightly going back and forward out eh, could be a little bit better but that works we do have a tight joint here at his knee of another bend here at his ankle another hinge right here at his paw forward facing pin for rocker ankle at his back paw then we do have a ball joint here at the tail while a ball hinge because it does move up and down, swivel, and you can actually hinge it depending on which direction that hinge is facing. Depends how his tail hinges. So overall, really good articulation here on Timber as well as Snake Eyes. Now, it is a little bit tricky getting Timber to stand properly because you got to move so many joints, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get these guys posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so finally, here we do have the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes and Timber, the Alpha Commandos pose. For my final thoughts, and overall, this is a very good set to own if you're a fan of classic G.I. Joe or just a fan of G.I. Joe in general. We get a really awesome Snake Eyes figure who does encapsulate the original Commando Snake Eyes, which a lot of people are pretty fond of. Like I said, this is a very classic looking Snake Eyes, and this is a set that I know most collectors are going to want to have. Timber here is a fantastic figure in his own right. A lot of the times when we got G.I. Joe back in the days, Timber was a static piece and he was pretty much an accessory. He is a fully fleshed out figure here and it looks very nice posed together and I absolutely love this set. It's a very, very well done set by Hasbro and I gotta give him props for giving us such an articulated wolf with an already articulated figure. That's a very huge mount to climb, especially this day and age with prices going up as they are. If you are looking for the Alpha Commando Snake Eyes and Timber, they is, this is actually a really hard set to come by if we're being quite honest. I have not seen it in stores. I know GameStop is sold out. It's for about $80 on Amazon. Big Bad Toy Store has still yet to ship them out. But if you are looking for the Alpha Commandos right now, I did pick up this set from Hasbro Pulse and I'm really happy I did because this is a very fantastic set. Now I do have a custom idea for Snake Eyes here, but I'm going to wait on that until we get more figures in the line. But Timber here, 
I really do want another Timber because it's a very, very well-made wolf and we don't get too many wolf figures by any line. So having a second wolf is going to be so much fun to do with posing. And I know a lot of people have been picking this set up specifically for Timber. Another thing I do like about this set is the fact that we do get realistic weapons for Snake Eyes. We do get his traditional Uzi as well as two other machine guns and his handgun look very nice. The suppressor does fit on some of the other weapons so that's another bonus here if you are looking for this set he's still i believe for pre-order on big bad toy store could be pre-order sold out or on hasbro pulse where i picked mine up and he will run you about 40 dollars which that's pretty much paying 20 dollars for snake eyes and 20 20 dollars for timber which i think is a fair price with that being said guys i'm king of dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other gi joe classified series hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you'd like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection i'll gladly have a look at it while you're at it check out my instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always ring that bell to be notified every time i upload a video until next time guys I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.